Welcome back, Challoners. Well, y'all been asking for this topic for a minute, maybe literally a minute, because it pretty much just happened. Cardi B and Offset. Cardi is once again defending her man, Offset, against a round of cheating allegations. We're going to break down what's actually going on behind the scenes because we've had a few different cheaters in the news recently. Tristan Thompson, Justin Timberlake, and now to the surprise of pretty much no one, Offset is a reoffender, Or is he? We'll break down the excuses he's giving, the excuses Cardi is giving, and more importantly, we're going to learn something from this. I'm going to tell you the one question you need to ask yourself if you think your man is cheating. One question, and it's all going to come super clear. But before we get started, if you have a love question of your own, want to talk to me privately, find me on my website, shallonlester.com, and click get help. Also, follow me on Instagram at shallonxo, where I let you tag me and stuff and weigh in on the next video topic and give me some suggestions. Also, I'm doing a GoFundMe for a homeless mom of three young children who lives in a motel in Atlanta. We are trying to raise money to get her into permanent housing. We're getting really close to the goal. So if you do a donation of $25 or more, you get a free question from me. <laughs> Just leave your question in the comment section of your donation. Even if you can't afford to give a lot right now, $5 literally adds up. We have so many $5 donations and it's gotten us so far. So please consider giving. I'm also working with some charities down there to attack the problem from a more holistic standpoint and break the bonds of generational poverty. Who can do it besides the Chalantraj? Tis the season. Tis also the season to cheat, evidently, because Damn, like I said, everyone's coming out of the woodwork with crappy men. And perhaps this is simply how men are. Trash, garbage raccoons. And we should be not quite so shocked when all this crappy behavior manifests. Yet we are. But one person who doesn't seem too concerned about it is Cardi. So she's defending Offset. But before we get into what Cardi says, we got to wind back to the beginning of this saga. So... Takashi 69's girlfriend, like ex-girlfriend, like nothing to brag about there, girl. Just shh, don't let that one go. Her name is Sarah Watley, but she goes by Jade. <laughs> okay, okay, Sarah. Like if you're gonna make up a fake name, lean into it and go with a good one. Like Sebastiana Achilles von Taxis und Anvers. Like really go for it. Be like a Austin Powers villain, okay? But Jade, cool. <laughs> Big reach. She apparently used to hook up with Offset. And Cardi knows about this because Jade claims that Cardi ordered like a beatdown on her. And listen to me, there is nothing I want less in this world than to know or think Cardi B is mad at me. That's a, that's a hellscape scenario right there. I loved the movie Hustlers. I just wish it had been all Cardi because I don't think she knew she was acting. I don't think they gave her a script. I think they just put her in a strip club and she's like... You, you drain the clock, not the cock. Like, oh, tell it, tell it to me. I just feel like she knows things. Like she's seen things and she knows things, but apparently she doesn't know a cheater when she sees one. And that's unfortunate. But like I said, we'll get to that in a second. So Jade posted on her Instagram, a screenshot, maybe it was a little video, of Offset in her DMs writing, I miss you for real. Well, he didn't say for real. He didn't take the time to spell that out. What do people do with all that time they save from using abbreviations? They work for the SpaceX program? I do not know. So he wrote, Miss You FR. Incredible prose. This man's a professional writer. Like rappers are writers. You know, their whole job is to communicate. Wow. Yep. Step aside, Lord Byron. Offsets on the scene. Who can resist the depth? Well, Apparently Jade can because she was not having it. And she posted, she's like, Offset, are you kidding me? Like your wife has a criminal case against her and you're DMing me. Like, have you no respect for her? Seven question marks, seven. I don't think we needed to bring up Cardi B's criminal case. But then again, like if you think that Cardi was like basically sending a hitman after you, I can see where that's relevant information. But I also... <laughs> It just didn't need to be so public. I don't know. But these people are messy. That's why we love them. That's why we love Cardi. She's messy AF. FR. And then Offset claimed he was hacked. Right? Because an hour after that, all these weird tweets started showing up. Like, I like balls and I'm a, I'm a pussy. Bleh. 
just very like weird things to be posting, but also here's the thing with hacking. You guys, in this day and age, when someone gets hacked, is it realistic that they're going to DM your ex-girlfriend? Do you think that's what hackers are after? DMing your ex-girlfriend, I miss you? They're after your goddamn financial information, okay? And that's kind of the best case scenario. Maybe they're after your address, your family's address. Like maybe they're after contracts that you're entering into so that they can short that stock. I don't know, but I do know they're not after your ex-girlfriend. That's not what hackers do. But Offset picked that story and went with it. Now, most of us, reasonable people, can probably be like, mm, okay, did he perhaps post those tweets himself to make it look like he was hacked? Right? Offset is a lot of things. He's a good rapper. He might be a good businessman. A criminal mastermind, this does not strike me as his galvanizing trait. I, on the other hand, I am. I'm really good at it. I can be very manipulative when I want to be, and I'm a good criminal, and you never see it coming until it's way too late. Art of war. You lie in the tall grass, you draw them out. Don't talk about your schemes. Fall like a thunderbolt. But apparently, Cardi was like kind of buying this excuse. And look, you know what a better excuse would have been? Because I was thinking about this. I'm like, God, how could he have gotten out of this? Because maybe he was drunk. Maybe he was just sad. Maybe he was in a fight with Cardi and he was reaching out to his ex, as so many of us do, for nothing more than attention without an intentionality. Like, I don't believe he legitimately wants to leave his wife and the mother of his child and go to Jade, you know? But this is the, this is the problem. When guys cheat, it's not that they want to leave one woman. That's almost the best case scenario. They want to have both. They're dicks, Right. So that's a scenario that obviously we don't want to consider, and Cardi, I'm sure, doesn't. But what he could have done instead, here's the lie you should have come up with, Offset, because you're probably going to do this again. You should have said, she photoshopped that. She photoshopped that. Let me, I hired a graphic designer for $100, and he photoshopped a whole bunch of DMs for me. Look, Barack Obama DM'd me. Barack really does follow me on Twitter. I tell everyone about it. Die mad, sorry. Look, Oprah DM'd me. Britney Spears DM'd me. Like, look how easy it is to fake this. Like, are you kidding? She's just, she's just problematic. And I feel like people would've been like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That, that seems more plausible than like, I like balls, like tweeting out weird shit and being like, I got hacked. Hacking is very rare. It's very rare. Very rarely do people hack. And if they do, they don't post shit on your Twitter. Like I said, they take your financial information. They like sell it to the Russians. I don't know, man. I'm not a hacker. I got, I got better things to do. But apparently Cardi did believe this because she came out with a statement, a video on her Instagram that's since been deleted, but we captured it. So I'm going to, I'm not censoring it. She says bad words, but we're adults. Okay. This is what Cardi had to say. Hey guys, so as you can see, this guy Instagram has been had. Now, let me show you something. My bad, we just, we look crazy. We just woke up. Like, we've been sick throughout the whole damn night. This boy got a cold. I have like a very crazy stomach ache. I'm about to go to the hospital because I, I feel like it's uh, food poisoning. But anyways, you know... I know, I, babe, I know you done some dumb shit. I know he done, we, everybody know he done some dumb shit. But come on, now. niggas ain't dumb. Niggas ain't crazy. We've been so good. We had, we had a sweet weekend. Um, life has been good. I'm not going to play himself like that. That's why I'm not entertaining it. That's how I'm not getting no rowdy. Mm. Go ahead, yo. Simple as that. Okay? Love you. Okay. So if you don't speak Cardi B, this is what she said. She's like, we know he done some dumb shit because he has cheated on her before they broke up and he did that bizarre and probably fake and orchestrated by her team like grand gesture of coming out on her concert stage with like this flower wall that said, Cardi, take me back. It was very cringe. It just seemed very inauthentic. I was like, oh, have you been reading from the Sean Mendez Camila Cabello playbook? Because this seems pretty much right up their alley or vice versa. I don't know. Are they all sharing notes? Is there some like school of cringe everybody's going to? I'll look into it. And she's like, he's done dumb shit. But basically, 
And then in the next part, she's like, he's done dumb shit, but he's not dumb. Well, isn't he cutting? Basically, she's trying to say he's learned his lesson and she is basing her assessment of the situation on current behaviors. We had a great weekend. He's super devoted. He was like holding the baby in the photo or in the video. And she's like, I don't buy this because of his current behavioral pattern, which makes me think maybe when he cheated on her before, he was exhibiting different behaviors. You know, maybe he wasn't answering the phone. Maybe he wasn't really in touch with her. Like, who knows? But you know what I do know? There's always a tell. There's always a tell. There's always a red flag. There's always a tell. And sometimes the only way you see that evidence is from your gut. I know so many girls have been cheated on. I've been cheated on recently. And like you, the, the agony of it is, the, I said this in the Timberlake video, the humiliation, of course. And then the secondary is that you are mad at yourself. You're mad at yourself. You're furious because some part of you, that innate animal hardwiring, the voice and the instincts that have kept your generations alive for thousands of years, told you. It told you. We are animals and animals have instincts. We see it with dogs. We see it with cats and we respect their instincts. Waffles doesn't want to go in that dark room. Noodles doesn't want to sniff that bush. We respect noodles. Noodles logic, right? We've talked about noodles before. But when it comes to us, we let people gaslight us. You're being crazy. I'm just tired. It's work. I'm texting work. Oh, are you? Are you? And the shitty part is you have to just pick a lane. When you think someone's cheating on you, you have to just be like, okay, I accept. I believe what you're telling me. I just trust you. And it's scary, as it should be, because it doesn't always work out. But you have to go through that and give somebody that trust because underneath that trust, behind that decision making is knowledge of yourself and knowledge that if this goes bad and blows up, I'm going to be OK. Oh, I'm never going to love again. Look at me. Of course I will. Look at you. Look at all of you. Of course you will. It's bananas and ridiculous. Eight billion people in the world. You think that's the only dick you're going to like? OK, not not possible. So I kind of wonder. If this is Cardi's vibe, if she's like, I can't live like this in this constant emotional parole officer role where I am policing him and who's on your phone? Who are you texting? Where have you been? What's this bitch saying about you? It's exhausting and it doesn't further your relationship. It erodes it. And sometimes that's exactly what these interlopers in your relationship want. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to drive you apart. And more often than not, it works. It works. And it's hard because like you don't want to stay with someone just to prove everyone wrong. Like that's the wrong reason to be in it. But also like you got to just you got to be all in or you got to be all out. And it's painful that it has to be on you to make that decision because you didn't do anything wrong. Cardi's not the cheater. Offset's the cheater. And only Cardi is being forced to make that decision. Only Jessica Biel, only Khloe Kardashian, only the rest of us. So this is the question you need to ask yourself because actually I'm gonna table the question for a second when I said like okay Offset said he was hacked and then you know they're after they're after your information they're not after like DMing your ex-girlfriend how would he even know how would a hacker even know that's your ex like maybe you can google like I I mean well I guess like you target a celebrity because you know a lot about them but like is that really the first place you're going to go? If you were really want to fuck up someone's life, I'd like start a feud with like a celebrity. I would like call Meryl Streep a bitch. Like I would just go balls out. If I was a hacker and I wanted to ruin my enemy's life, which I can, don't forget that. That I wouldn't start with DMing their ex. I'd maybe get there like 10th or 12th on the list. <clears throat> and what Cardi needs to ask herself, what all of us need to ask ourselves when we're confronted with a story that someone is handing us, is what answer is the simplest? This is called Yakum's Razor. It is logically the easiest answer is the correct one. The answer or the theory that requires the fewest leaps of logic is almost always 
always the correct one. You watch Dateline? I watch almost nothing but Dateline. And we see this all the time. This guy obviously murders his wife. Obviously. Oh no, it, it was an owl that got in the house and it, it, it attacked her it, because as owls do, just randomly attacking people after they picked the lock to get in their house and stolen their debit card. And then, and then she fell down the stairs and then, and then this, 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 this bowling ball came and you know, well, it came down the stairs too. You're like, or did you murder her? Which has the fewest leaps of logic? Now look, logic is different than hope. You know? Logic is different than happy. It's not which story makes us feel the most warm and fuzzy and which makes us feel the safest and happiest. Which story makes the most sense? If I had to write the story down on a piece of paper, which story would be shorter? The short story is the right one. So offset, what is the most plausible story? Someone hacked your email. Okay, and then, because that's what you said, they got an email that was connected to everything else. That is how hacking happens. I've had like my Pinterest hacked several times. And I remember asking my ex-husband, who's a cybersecurity expert, I was like, what the fuck are they doing with my Pinterest? He's like, it's just how they get in. Because a lot of times your Pinterest password is your password for other things. Because you don't think to make it super unique, because you're like, who cares? But that's how they get it. Or it's close enough that they have enough to get in your bank and blah, blah, blah. So change it. Okay, fine. They hack your email. Then they go to your Instagram. They don't post anything from the cloud, which is probably a shit ton of dick pics, right? Like he seems like he takes nothing but dick pics. They, they don't put a dick pic on Instagram. No, 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 no. They don't post anything wild. They private message someone you used to sleep with. Okay, for what possible motive we have yet to, to determine. Then they go to Twitter and post stupid things, but like 11 year old stupid, like balls. It is. You're like, okay, Bart Simpson, take it easy. You know, and all of this adds up to, again, what? Like, to what possible end? Or he misses her. He misses her. Three words. That's a three-word story versus a 500-word story about how you got hacked and this and that, and they went over here, and, and all these people are lying on me. This is another thing. Is everyone else the liar? Are we sensing conspiracy excuses? I didn't do that. They're out to get me. Everyone's out to get me. You know what? Sometimes people are out to get you. It's, this, is, this is true, but not every time. And usually not in the exact same category where you've been guilty before. That's weird. And you know what? If they are, maybe this is God punishing you. Maybe this is a reckoning. Maybe because you chronically cheat, you've kind of opened up the floodgates for other people to accuse you of cheating, right? If you were a con man, you couldn't really be mad at people for coming out of the woodwork and be like, oh, uh, he owes me money too. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. You did this to yourself. You made this bed of bullshit. Pull up the covers, baby. It's time to nap. So Cardi needs to be asking herself, what story is the simplest? And this can be very, very difficult because when we're in it, it's like being inside of a rainstorm. You can't see the end of it. Only people from the outside can see the perimeter. And this is hard because you aren't thinking objectively. You're not thinking with perspective. You're thinking through the lens of love and hope. And like we said, the simplest answer isn't about what's gonna make you feel the most hopeful and put like a tidy bow on this. It's about what's true. We must always twist theories to suit facts. Not try to twist the facts, but look at them this way and that, to suit the theory we have come up with because we don't like the sound of the truth because it hurts. We gotta always walk in the light of the truth. And what, is, what does light do? Sometimes light stings. You walk outside after like a two day hangover, you're like, <sighs> that's light. It's cleansing you and purifying you, right? And that is how we have to approach our life in terms of dating and cheating. So if you're confused and if you're like, I am asking myself this and I truly, I truly don't know. I truly don't know where the, where the truth is. This is another hard thing about cheating. You might never know. He'll know. That side bitch will know. You might not ever know. And that's really rough. And you have to ask yourself if you can still sit inside this relationship and not know. And if, if the answer is no, walk in the light of that truth and get on out. Cardi has made a different choice. She's got a husband. She's got a father. She might not care what he does when she's not around. Like, she might have kind of low standards. She's had a rough life and I don't think she thinks very highly of men. Don't blame her on that one. But like, 
she might just look at him like, I get that this is kind of all you're capable of. So I'm going to take you for what you are. When we're together, you got to be devoted to that baby. You got to always answer my calls. You got to support me when I'm in doing a new endeavor. You still have to tell me I'm hot even when I feel disgusting. And that's okay. That's enough. Maybe they worked it out behind the scenes. I hope so. I weirdly like them together. They're just both messy. It's fun to watch a mess. It's fun to be a mess, right? It's freaking great. So if you don't know what the answer is, if you can't see the periphery of this storm, other people in your life can. Oh, other people in your life can. And an exercise that I've mentioned before in videos is pretend your friend is the one having this problem. What would you say to her? Sometimes even just that like fractional minute distance you can get from a problem gives you this flash of clarity and you can fix it. You're like, oh, if Becca was going through this, the answer would be very obvious. I would tell her X, Y, Z. You know what? What's good for your friend is going to be good for you too. The worst thing we can tell ourselves is it's complicated. It's just really complicated. No, bitch. No, it's not. It's not complicated. I talk to you guys all day long. It's not complicated. And that's what I'm here to do is cut through that baloney, tell it like it is, and distill it down to the shortest possible story. And then when the story is short, it's up to you to read it and ask yourself, do I like this plot line? Because if you don't, it's time to move on. I want to know what you guys think about Cardi and Offset. <sighs> Lord, do you think he's just going to keep cheating on her? I mean, yeah, I mean, like, what am I? Of course. What excuse would you have given if you were in his position? Or if you have maybe been the Offset in a situation and you managed to lie your way out of it, what did you say? Like, what would an angel say? The devil wants to know. Like I said, follow me on Instagram at ShallonXO and hit me up at ShallonLester.com and please consider donating to our GoFundMe. We're gonna raise so much money for this lady. We are gonna change her life because that's what we do here in the Shallon Tourage. We level up, we get glam, and we get better.